when you, when you look at the game and you know you look at where you're at now and you look at the peers you came up with in the 90s did you say to yourself I knew I was going to be here and I knew those guys were going to be there and I'm asking you that because I want to know what you think of the game now and who's going to be here 10 years from now uh yeah I I, I absolutely uh Absolutely, because I, I I wanted to be here, you know, and I and I saw a lot of a, a lot of um, people let opportunities go. And I was like, oh, that that he's not gonna be around. Why why aren't you doing this? If I had that, I'd be doing this. And I think about it in, in in those terms. I think about it not outside of what we do. I think about it just in in uh, strategic moves mm -hmm. when you when you have it and you're about to have it and you know what happens and you know I remember one time walking in the studio and uh uh. It was like a small gap and uh, uh, bleak beans. Everybody was in there. And I was like, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better, y'all better, y'all got a chance right now. Just flood it, put out a lot of music mm -hmm. because 50 Cent is coming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, four months later in the club hit and it was over. And right. it was just like, okay, now everybody got to sit on the sidelines and wait and wait this tight to wave out. Mm -hmm. So, like, just seeing things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I remember mean, when you yeah. wanted to sign Wayne before Wayne. Yeah. Really took off. Yeah. And the club came out. I'll never forget the first time I heard that. I was at Indiana State's. It was a capital party at Indiana State my freshman year. It was like winter homecoming. It was like a welcome back from Christmas break. I said, what the fuck is this? And it changed everything. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from Group82Music.com and right here we got Jay-Z talking about how he told the entire Rockefeller label, hey man, 50 Cent is coming. I'm going to take y'all back, right? This is a prime period in my life. This is 2001, 2002. Jay-Z was on fire. He had dropped an album every single year. Uh, 2001, he had dropped Blueprint, which is his greatest album, damn near the greatest rap album ever to me. And the next year, he dropped Blueprint too. In that time, there was three people that were really, really, really moving crazy units. I'll say four. You had Jay-Z, you had Eminem, you had Nelly, you had DMX. Of those four, only Eminem decided to sign 50 Cent. 50 Cent already had a buzz. 50 Cent already had been signed. He had dropped a bunch of mixtapes. People knew who he was, but they were scared of him because he got shot nine times. Nobody wanted to invest money into somebody who might get killed. And Eminem didn't give a fuck. Eminem liked the music, so Eminem signed him, and Eminem was signed to Dre, and Dre was signed to Jimmy Iovine. Jimmy Iovine signed to Universal, so 50 Cent, he was signed to like five different niggas, but he was signed. And on top of that, Eminem made Eight Mile. On the Eight Mile soundtrack, 50 had a song on there called Wangsta. And that motherfucker went off. So not only did you have the number one city in the world when it comes to culture and entertainment behind this artist, you had at the time the most popular artist in the world co-signing him, Eminem, on a movie that won an Oscar that did 100 million in the box office. His song was really, really picking up. So he had the streets and he had the white suburban kids because of Eminem. So he saw what was coming. He said, yo, I'm telling y'all right now, 50 Cent is coming. Beans, Bleak, all y'all. Flood the streets with as much music as you can. Put as much content out as you can. Where have y'all heard that before? Do it right now. They didn't do it. And everybody had to ride a tidal wave out and you see what happened to 50 Cent and you see what happened to Memphis Bleak and, and Bean. Content. Now's the time. We're in a pandemic. People are looking at their phones all day. They're looking at their computers all day. They want to be entertained. They want to be educated. They want to be eroticized all day. You need to be putting out as much content as you possibly can. We're living in our pre-50 cent moment. I don't know what's going to be next. I don't know what's going to come. All I know is right now, all the attention is on us and people are open and willing to accept anyone new who is speaking that real shit. My followers have damn near doubled. When the pandemic started, I had like 15.8 thousand followers. Okay, I'm almost at 30,000 because people are looking. They want content. Flood the market with content. Put out as much shit as you can. Don't overthink it. Just do shit. Put it out. So that way you're not in the sidelines like Memphis Bleak and Beans was when the 50 cent of whatever the social media thing is going to be comes and we all got to wait. Don't be that person. Now's your time. Now's your time to put out as much music as you can. Now's your time to get on as many Spotify players as you can. Now's the time to purchase one of our packages for 60% off. Now is the time. Don't be stuck. The opportunity is now. Click the link in the bio. Mouth the pop. Y'all stay true. Group 82.
Music.com.